All right. So uh, in the last video, we reviewed the headphones of the Logitech and uh, I gave him a pass. And now we're gonna review the speakers. Just to remind you, I'm gonna play music on my old speakers. As a reminder, you can hear it's a very poor, low quality speakers. Well, look at the size. So let's uh, see if this one are gonna be better. What we got here? Well, um, this is interesting. You can see some weird schematics inside. Thing. Check this out. It's come, maybe I can place it on the table. It's packed very nice. This is interesting. All right. I guess I need to pull it up. All right, so the packaging, the packaging is really cool. As you saw, I can like lift it off easily. We have some safety something. Again, we have some uh, manuals. All right, so we have one speaker and you see it with the cables. Uh, so let's continue. So we have the speakers themselves in this nylon with the cable in this um, box. Well, this is like a difficult job to open. Uh, this actually is fucking complicated. Oh, got it. I got it, guys. Uh, so, okay, we have the speakers. Uh, let's see what we have here. All right, we have the controller over here. So, so let's see. What is this? Uh, well, this is like very weird stuff. This is the volume button. It's you like, you need to slide it like, you know, uh, louder. Uh, it's big, uh, too much big, I guess. We have the on off over here and a headphone jack. But uh, you know what I most hate in this kind of controllers? Uh, they, uh, most of the time they do the audio plug for the headphones, but uh, no microphone, no microphone uh, plug. So if you have a headset like like that one that I bought with a microphone and audio, you can't control it. You can't plug it because you have only one entrance, the audio. It's kind of suckish, I guess. Uh, but okay, let's uh, let's see how long the cables. Again, and a lot of these speakers and headphones very important to have uh, long cables because as you see uh, my computer is on the table and the subwoofer you need to put it like on the under the table and the speakers of course you place it like whatever you want so you need a long cables to go like from the button to the pc and then to the uh, speakers so some people want to put their speakers like higher on the wall and so we're gonna find out if it's if it's any good if they're long enough nice simple uh, speakers with the logitech logo nice and with a single uh, audio entrance so what we got here we got the subwoofer really simple design look simple circle you hear you have in the back of the uh, subwoofer the bus controller if you want it more bus uh, less bus and you have the input and output you can uh, probably you putting your speakers over here in the input and in the output you can uh, you probably can connect more speakers so i guess you can put up to four speakers on the subwoofer 
So I'm gonna take a minute to set these speakers to, to disconnect my old ones and connect this. So as you can see, this is the old subwoofer. Let's see for a comparison. This is the old one. Well, it's too much, it's too big to hold it. New one and the old one. And let's compare the speakers themselves. The new one and the old one. All right, so after I connected all the cables of the speakers, I have a good news. The length of the cables are good enough. They are really like long. You can see I can I connected the buffer over here. I don't mind the cable management. I will do it better later. So I have pretty enough of the cables to go up to the table to put the speakers far aside with the controller over here. So I guess now it's the time of the real um, test. We're gonna play some music and we're gonna see if it's worth the money. I will turn the bus on the subwoofer for about a medium, not too low, not too high. Let's play some song and uh, see how is it. Well, from my first impression, the quality is really nice. Not the top notch. You can make, you can hear a distortion of the sound in the high end. On the high frequency, you can hear a distortion of the when it's really loud. On the medium volume, if you not put it too loud, it sounds nice. So nice. The the subwoofer give a nice performance of this uh, of this bass. You, you can hear it pretty nice. If you're gonna play the speakers really loud, you're gonna hear a distortion. This is like straightforward. I can tell you. Basically, if you got the speakers for like I guess home studio or playing a music at houses, will be fine. It will give you a nice performance. If you're gonna manage, it, if you want to make a like house party with the speakers, uh, well, you're gonna fail miserably uh, because the sound uh, this did not match the quality on the loud, on the like very loud volume. It's fail. Uh, let's do another one. <laughs> So, uh, the speakers themselves, they cost around uh, $70 and for the uh, price of the $70, uh, the quality that you get is pretty nice. Uh, honestly, I will uh, expect more. I will expect more uh, crisp sound on the loud volume but I guess you can't get everything with low price. Uh, so if I could like uh, recommend this, uh, well, I must say you can get a nice uh, speakers for a low price, of course. So for this price of like, it's cost me around $70, I guess it's a fine, fine product. Uh, again, uh, if you don't really need you can find a better, not better, but same quality speakers for around maybe $50. And the price of this in other $20, maybe it's for this nice controller that you get and the subwoofer. You can get uh, speakers without the subwoofer for $50 easily. So basically, I will not really recommend these speakers. 
if you like maybe if you want to play some more loud music like if you have a home speakers and you want to listen to music but it's not enough volume and you want to upgrade you know just a little bit so you can hear the music more loudly then yes you can buy this because uh, if you want to buy a better speakers the, the price range is around the $120 so it's a big jump uh, so if you're just an amateur guy that want to uh, listen for music with a loud volume then it's fine if you are a professional and you need to do you know mixing and some professional production then no it's not the, the it's not the choice if you're just an uh, everyday consumer that want to play fortnite and to hear some music on uh, youtube then i guess you can buy uh, cheaper speakers than this uh, really i don't see any point to buy uh, this version of it's not really premium and it's not really cheap speakers it's something in the medium uh, so yes that's about that and well i hope you enjoy this review and uh, see you in the next uh, i guess a warzone video yes the christmas edition yeah check this out bye